Hey everybody, Carl here from Apt. We're at CES 2020 in the ASUS booth. We've got JJ here who's going to tell us a little bit about the Tinker Edge R. What are we looking at? Yeah, so this is actually a, a pretty big initiative for us. ASUS actually, uh, last year, at the end of last year, we formally actually expanded into having a dedicated business unit, uh, which is kind of just talk for saying we have a dedicated division that's focusing on uh, IoT. Okay. And so we've always been involved in that space and our professional segmentation for like servers and workstations and advanced networking. Um, but a couple years ago, we actually launched the Tinker Board brand, and that was our first SBC board, so single board computer. So unlike traditional computers where you're running some form of like an Intel or AMD chip, right. this is the whole other end of the spectrum. You're using ARM-based architecture, right? Okay. So using the same type of chips that would be like in phones, tablets, things along those lines, that they're fixed for certain types of performance, certain types of workloads. Mm -hmm. So we would see people like doing fixed gaming boxes, maybe specialized uh, networking configurations, surveillance, gaming, home media, home media kind of setups. And we saw like, such good success there that we actually had kind of professional audiencing. What about maybe more advanced applications like machine learning, right? Advanced surveillance, image recognition. Mm -hmm. And what we've seen in the last couple of years in kind of the professional part of the market has been what's called edge computing. So we expanded from Tinker Board to also include these new verticals. And so here we have the Tinker Edge R, and then we also have the Tinker Edge T. Okay. Um, they're a little bit different in terms of some of the base specifications in terms of the connectivity and the pure performance. But the kind of end goal with both of the models is, is that they're offering onboard advanced machine learning architecture. So there's hardware on board that allows you to run these really advanced things that normally to achieve them, you'd have to go to the cloud okay. to accomplish this. But now, let's say a small company, a developer, somebody that's kickstarting a project or maybe a concept piece of hardware, they don't have to go out and rent cloud server space or rack space to accomplish this. They could essentially get this board, load up that Linux distribution, start to put in their own code and start to test and actually have that low latency, that low cost, be able to actually go through I reading and checking essentially that experience in real time. Okay. And then from there also easy to propagate, right? Because then I could get a couple of sample of these together, send right. them out to you know partners and allow them to experience it. Um, and then still for the hobbyists though, I mean, we've continued to expand a lot of relationship support. So we have really rich distribution. So mm -hmm. we make our own Android distribution. We have our own Debian based distributions that are available where we handle all the kernels, all the drivers. Um, but of course we also work for third party uh, manufacturers, excuse me, uh, software developers to make their own distributions. So if users want to do that, they can go that route. So sure. pretty flexible solutions. And I think definitely for 2020, you're going to see a lot more from the Tinker family. Yeah, it's very cool. So it's a, it's a relatively high powered machine in a really small space that's going to allow you to do stuff kind of cheaper it seems so you're oh. gonna, there's going to be some definite cost savings there yeah for sure uh, definitely when you talk about machine learning if you talk about the cost savings where traditionally to get that type of performance you'd probably be looking at thousands of dollars right where you kind of project down to maybe be in a couple hundred dollars type of space okay. um, and having also the tight integration of this having expansion capabilities to easily add more storage right uh, you know support and flexibility for um, also having integrated storage built on board so there's uh, situations where maybe you want to have this in like industrial environments and you don't even want to have to change out flash memory so there's built-on sure. memory these are things that we haven't even seen in traditional SBC boards so ways of saving money while also enhancing the experience that hasn't been out there all right so some more great stuff from ASUS here at CES 2020 make sure you guys stay tuned because we've got a lot more coming up